Do you know what keeps you safe from getting electrocuted at your home or your office? A simple metal rod called the earth rod. Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and today we're going to talk about earth rods. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of what these earth rods are, the different types of earth rods and their applications and technical properties. But why should you listen to us? At Axis, we have been manufacturing and exporting earthing and lightning protection systems such as this one for the last 30 years to more than 100 countries. Our earth rods are installed in data centers, airports, solar plants, metro projects and so much more. So let's get into it. Let's start by understanding the basics of earth rods. An earth rod is a type of earth electrode and is an essential part of any lightning protection and earthing system. An earth electrode is a conducting element buried deep in the ground which enables the flow of fault currents into the ground. Earth electrodes come in a variety of materials, shapes and sizes including pipes, plates, a ring around the structure or as an earth rod. Why do you need an earth rod? Various factors including short circuits, lightning strikes, damaged equipment can cause fall currents in an electrical network. These fall currents pose a danger to any connected electronic device and can even threaten human safety. An earth rod safely carries the fall current from the electrical system and dissipates it into the ground. Thus, you avoid short circuits and damage to electrical devices in the system. You will find different types of earth rods like this is copper bonded, but also solid copper, stainless steel and galvanized steel used in different applications like substations, data centers and electrical distribution towers. Let's understand each one of them and their applications. Let's start with copper bonded earth rods. Copper bonded earth rods are the most popular type of earth rod across the world. A layer of copper is deposited onto a steel core using an electroplating process. This molecular bond of copper with steel prevents it from slipping or tearing when driven into the ground. Compared to solid copper rods, these are cost effective while still providing low electrical resistance and corrosion resistance. These rods combine the high tensile strength of steel along with the conductivity of copper to give us a product that is economically efficient and a popular choice across the globe. Secondly, solid copper earth rods. These rods are crafted from solid copper bars, making them pricier than other rods. You can use them in areas with high corrosion, high fault currents, or where you need an exceptionally long lifespan, like areas with low soil resistivity. You should not use these rods for deep driving into the ground because of their tendency to bend. Before we continue, a quick reminder, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for regular updates on electrical engineering. Thirdly, Stainless Steel Earth Rods These rods offer functionality similar to solid copper rods but come with the added advantage of being more anodic. This feature makes them a preferred choice in environments where different types of metals are buried close to one another, minimizing the risk of galvanic corrosion. While these rods are generally more expensive than GI rods, their exceptional anti-corrosion properties justify their value for certain applications. Now, fourthly, the galvanized steel earth rod. Manufactured from high strength, low carbon steel, these rods undergo a hot dip galvanizing process. They are the most economical choice among the different types, but it's important to note that they provide limited corrosion resistance compared to copper bonded and stainless steel. Also, they have a lower electrical conductivity and low current carrying capabilities. If you want more details on how to measure the resistance of an earth rod, we have a dedicated video. Click here to watch that video and you can also find the link in the video description. Finally, let's discuss the technical properties of earth rods. Here are some important factors to help you identify a good quality earth rod. The first one is electrical resistivity. This is the measure of how strongly a material opposes the flow of electrical current. A low resistivity indicates a material that readily allows the flow of electricity, which is a critical property for an earth electrode. Secondly, corrosion resistance. Earth rods are buried deep in the ground for decades and therefore should be highly resistant to corrosion. When in contact with soil, rods can degrade over time due to various chemical reactions and corrosion can significantly reduce the effectiveness and lifespan of an earth rod. Always choose a material that will last a long time in your soil conditions. Next, mechanical strength. 
earth rods need to be strong enough to be driven into the ground without bending, breaking or getting damaged. This is especially important when the rod has to be installed in hard or rocky soil. Lastly, conductivity. The earth rod material must have high electrical conductivity to ensure that the electrical charge can be effectively discharged into the ground. If you're curious about how an earth rod is tested, here's a detailed video on the subject. The link is right here and also mentioned in the description. I hope you now have a clear understanding of earth rods and their different types. At Axis, we have a team of 40 plus engineers who are here to help you in designing, installing and testing your lightning protection and earthing systems. Axis earth rods have been used in projects around the world from large scale data centers to everyday residential and commercial buildings. So which type of earth rod do you prefer? Share your experiences or questions with me in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel and stay updated on lighting protection, grounding systems and other electrical engineering topics.